Thanks for checking out our introductory video for the ScanSKU G series barcode scanner. In this video, we'll go through some of the basic features and setup tips that you may find useful. If you haven't already, you will need to remove the battery tag from the battery before turning on the device. To do this, slide the back battery cover lock switch to the right, the open position. Slide the battery cover down. To remove the battery, push the bottom of the battery up and pull it toward you. Once the battery has been taken out, Look for the plastic battery tag covering the battery terminals and remove it. Once you've reinserted the battery, turn the device on. First, we'll go through the scanner settings that you may find useful. Find the app on the device called Scan. You may need to swipe to the right to find the app. Once open, press Settings at the top. Here you'll see multiple settings for the actual scanning function of the device. Most of these you won't need to change. However, some useful ones you may need to change are Enabling the pistol grip. If you're using the optional pistol grip available for the G-Series, ensure the pistol grip scanning is enabled. To do this, find the setting called Handle Button. Switch this to On. The next setting we'll look at is Output Mode. Depending on what app you're using, you may need to switch this to Keyboard Mode or Broadcast Mode. Secondly, next to the Terminator function, a bit further down in this screen, this is where you can set the scanner to automatically return an enter or tab after scanning. Some apps require this, so the cursor moves to the next field automatically, or the next function in the app is enabled without the user having to press enter. Right down at the bottom of this screen is the reset scanner option. This is useful if you are troubleshooting your scanner or want to return the scanner to the factory settings. Within this same app, press the content icon. Here you can scan a test barcode and see if it's appearing as you expect. We hope this has been useful in getting your scanner up and running. We have other tutorials and videos in our help center, or feel free to reach out to us with any questions you may have.